Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bokis. How are you all doing? Hope you've been good. Yeah, today's class will be on how to make a short Google dress or a dashiki dress, which is going to be tapered at the end. But if you don't want it tapered, I'm going to explain step by step on how to achieve that too, which are going to find very easy and beautiful. So right now I'm going to be using my calico fabric to show you how to do that. So let's go over to the work table. My fabric is folded by the measurement of the center back to the sleeve opening. So I'm making this dress for a small size pressing. So the measurement from our center back, the, back, the bone at the back of your neck to wherever you want your sleeve to stop on your arm. So for her, it is 15 inches, which is okay. An average for a small to medium size person. As only I'm making for myself, I'll be making use of 16 to 17. Even 17 is just fine, 17 or 18. For a plus size person, 17 to 18 is fine. A small size to a medium person, 15 to 16 is nice. So I'll be folding with that measurement. So here I have about 16, so I needed 15. So which is fine. The next thing you will need the length of the dress of the person. I'm making a very short dress for her. So I'll be making use of 30, 34 is fine. So what I'm going to do is this. This will be the M of the dress. But remember you are going to need some inches to fold the M. So I left one and a half inches for that. So from the bottom of the fabric, I measured one and a half inches upward. So the actual hem of the dress is on this point. So this is just the same allowance. Now the length of the dress is 34 inches. I'm going to measure 34 inches from the actual length, which is here, and then mark it upward to make a straight line. So I'll be using my fabric marker here. So it is ready. I have that already. So the next thing I'm going to do is to mark the 15 inches required. So the seam allowance is fine because she's a small size person. Okay, good. From that point, I'm going to come down by one and a half for the shoulder slope or one inch two is fine. So that is it. So I'm now going to just mark, because she's a small size person, I'm going to make use of two and a half. But for someone like me, I'll make use of, of uh, three inches here yeah, for me. So two and a half. So that's two and a half. From that two and a half point, I will connect to the shoulder slope. So I've connected the two and a half to the point whereby we came down. So you have to confirm the 15 inches again, which is here. Now for the sleeve opening, you want it to be wide. So if assuming it's for me, I'll make use of nine to 10 inches because we are going to be taking half an inch or both sides. So for her, I'll just make use of eight inches. Eight inches is here. So what I will do, since we have 15 inches here, I'll just come here to ensure that 15 inches are just coming by half an inch. So this will be the point. So we are as good as done. After doing that, now we need to insert our hip measurements. So that's the most important thing. So from the nape of our neck, our hip is 22 inches. Have one done, that's, that's fine. So First, from here, I'll just come in by two inches. From here, two inches will be here. 
then I'll come down by one and a half to two inches again then I'm going to make a connection there the curve doesn't need to be so much just a little so can you see what I have here so coming to the heel all you can just do is this if you want it to be so free just take away two inches between one and a half to two inches from the 15 inches measurement we have for the center back to the sleeve opening just take away two inches from that it works because this is more or less a booboo dress so from 15 inches when you remove two inches you will be having 13 inches or better still if you want to use your hip measurement for instance our hip measurement is 36 divided by 2 that makes uh, divided by 4 that makes it 9 so 9 inches but you still want to add some extra inches to that about 2 inches so 11 so if you want it fitted you could make use of this but you could just take away 2 inches from that because it is a free dress so that is that after doing that you will not have to connect it to the hem what I will do now is this, I will make use of the minus 2 inches. So I'm just going to connect it straight to the upper part. So this is what I have here. Then coming to this point, whatever you have here, you just take away one and a half inches from that. So I have 13. So I can do, I will just make that one and a half inches from that will be 11 and a half. But if you don't want it too tapered, you could just make it take away just one inch. So that depends on you. So after doing that, I'm going to connect from here to here with my hip curve. When doing this, use the lower part of the hip curve. Can you see what we have so it's not too tapered but if you are someone that has a big bone it is good to be so tapered so you can make use of something like this so it will make it more curvy but for this it's okay so and then we have the dress ready then there is another style whereby you have it fitted at the waist area which I'm going to explain in that case I will just insert a vertical waist measurement so for her it is 15 inches which is here so 15 inches which is here so that's good so what you will do in that case let me use another marker just come in by one to one and a half inch from there if you want it tapered um fitted at the waist area especially for someone with big bone is always so beautiful so after marking that I will now have to use my hip curve again so you connect from that point just one inch or one and a half maximum depending on how hippy you have so you connect it this way and you see and then you have to join this line back to these points just blend it up so can you see what it looks like it is a booboo -boo dress, but it is shapeful. Can you see? But if you are someone that do not have big bum or you have a flat hat, what you do is to just make use of this straight one. It's better. It's just hide your flaws. But if you are hippie with big bum, this is always looking so perfect. So that is it. So you have two options. So we are as good as done. Let's go back to the neckline. Because she is a small size person, I'll be making use of two and a half inches for the neck width as i've done here then for the neck depth i'll make use of two and a half inches too but for someone like me i'll be making use of three inches so two and a half again here two and a half is here because i'm still going to have a slit of about i want everything to be total of seven inches so this will be the neckline and this will be the slit. Make sure you have a perfect round neck. 
So we are going to sew it up with a facing. So that is essential. For the back leg, that will be one inch. One to one and quarter is fine. So this is the back, this is the front, and there's going to be a slit here. Haven't done that, we are done, so let's cut it out. Then the back neck first. And don't forget to add quarter inch seam allowance at the shoulder. So I'm just going to place this on the fabric to cut out exact the same thing. I've cut out another panel, so this will be for the back, while this will be for the front. So before I open up the fabrics, I'm just going to cut out the neckline. What it looks like so you can see for a small size it is a booboo dress or tapered at the lower part and there's going to be a slit up to this point so you just split it open to this point but i can just leave it now because i still want to cut the facing i have closed it up and i want to cut the facing so you need a folded fabric to place underneath the main fabric make sure it's folded then you make sure the folded parts matches each other well so taking note of the slits in front and you still have excess at the lower parts so first i'm going to trace this out So you got three inches is fine. So three inches is fine at this point. So I can remove it. So that's how I'm going to cut the back. I'm now going to measure three inches or three and a half. Depending on if you want it inside or in the front, but three and a half is fine. Then the point where the marking, the slit is going to stop, you have to measure that too. Okay, that's four and a half. Okay, that point is here. Then you still need some inches below that. You just make that three inches. So this is what the facing will look like. So you could put it in front or at the back of the paint. Back the same way. So the facings are all cut out, and the next thing is to just join it up. So opening it. So this is what the back looks like. You can see how beautiful that looks. So this is the facing for the back. So you could have it either inside or outside. Then for the front. This is the front. So you could have it inside or outside. So if you are having it outside, that means you will be sewing the facing inside, then bring it on the outside. So you just sew it to it, even on the outside. After turning it on the outside, you just aim 
quarter of an inch all around. So for the slit, after pinning it down, I can now cut it together. So can you see? So when you are hemming the neckline, you just go this way and then back. So that is this. Then you join by the shoulders. You hem this, leave opening, and then the side. Then you hem the lower part. So that is it on how to cut out the beautiful dress. My tutorial has been helpful. If it has, please give me a giant thumbs up. I remain your girl, Blue Kiss. Bye.